Greetings everyone. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about matching the dimensions, the look and feel of field in the label to what is already there. Now in a previous tutorial, I had talked to you about taking some notes on some of the characteristics of information or the layout as it exists already. So for example, if I click on AMA score, I can see that the font is Tahoma and it's size 12. So if I click on this field, I can go up and go format. Well, I'm sorry, I misspoke. You don't even have to go to format. You just click on the drop down. I'm going to choose Tahoma and I'm going to click on size 12, which it already is. But we'll notice that this box is a little tight. So I can make this box wider by clicking on one of the squares on the edges and dragging. I can make it taller by grabbing one of the squares on the bottom, for example. The square on the right sort of does the same thing, but it takes the dimensions a little bit more the same. In other words, it doesn't drag it apart. It keeps the dimensions equal. Having said that, now I've modified this so it's much different than this. Next, I'm going to click on the AMA score and observe that it's Tahoma 13. So I want to change this, and I want to make this Tahoma 13, and you'll see it's a different font, and now the characteristics are the same. So now we've got the fonts exactly the way we want them. But now in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with the dimensions to get them to match up with the current fields that are in here. I want to make them the same size. Thank you everyone for being here for this tutorial. I hope you have a great day. Bye now.